Hello, this is Nadia King, and my dream car is the 2017 Camaro. The price of this magnificent car is $61,140. Not too shabby. I found this information on the website provided. So that's a picture of the car. Found it on, you know, Google. It was a really nice image. Um, the rate of this car is 3.99% per year in accordance to the Northway Bank. Um, the, the website for that is also provided. I also have a picture of the auto loans that it provides for its users. Alright, and the money that I had loaned from Northway Bank was $30,000. And I have a little paragraph about this car. This car has been reinvented for the sixth generation Camaro and is purpose built to challenge the most advanced sports coupes in the world. It has a refined, driver-focused cockpit to help you get a taste of performance from the supercharged 6.2L L24 engine. This car has the ability to go from 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds, running a quarter mile in 11.4 seconds, and this sports car is definitely not one to mess with. Now, to find the monthly payment of my grand car, I utilize the present value of annuity equation. Now, I placed 30,000 in the P of N, P sub N um, place, and that is equivalent to P parenthesis 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus I parenthesis and then negative 12 because this is one year. Now, I is equivalent to rate divided by payments per year. So, essentially, you take 0.0399 and you divide that by 12 because there are 12 months in a year, just in case anyone didn't know that. <laughs> And then, using PEMDAS, which we learned in like, what, 6th grade, I think? Yeah. You solve what's inside the parentheses first. So, in my math, I have 30,000 equals P parentheses 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0 0.003325 parentheses negative 12. And then you solve that. So you get 1 minus 0 0.960949122 and you divide it by 0 0.003325. Now, this is where the fun begins. We have the solution, which is 11.744-6246P, and you divide that all by 30,000, because that's your loan, and that is how you get your amount per month. And so your amount per month, once you round it, is 2,554.36, and this is all for one year. And now, to find your interest, you multiply by 12 because there are 12 months in a year and that is equivalent to the grand total of 30,652.32 and subtract, you know, if you still want to find the interest by 30,000 and your interest is $652.32. So not all that shabby. Now, for the two year value, you basically do the same exact thing, but it's two years. So that is 24 months. So, essentially, you just plug in the same things, but yeah, like I said, uh, you put the value to the negative 24. So, you'll get 30,000 equals P parenthesis 1 minus 0 0.92342321174, and you divide that all by 0 0.003325. Now, once you do all that, and you can see by all my work that it's essentially the same exact thing, but like I said, two years, it's a huge difference once you get to the per month value. So yeah, it is 23.03061131 P equals 30,000. Now, take 30,000, divide by that large number with all those decimals and fun stuff, and you get 1302.614142. And once you round it, it's 1,302.61 per month. So that's your per month value. If you want to find how the interest affects it, you multiply by 24 because this is two years. Don't make the mistake of multiplying like uh, by one year, multiplying by 12 essentially because I did that at first and I was like, no Nadia, that's incorrect. But anyway, multiply by 24, you'll get 31,262.73941 and that is that grand total. And subtract by 30,000 to get your interest value and your interest value is 1,262.74. So this car isn't all that bad. I mean, comparatively to most cars, you could be spending some more, but I think this is a grand car, definitely a dream car, something I probably 
might not be able to afford when I'm older, but you know, a girl can dream. 